Hello guys, welcome back to UK by uh, ga- Gaming Podcast. Did you know that's not what it's called, right? Yeah, I know. Did... I know. It's not, I, I know. I, I, the title card's up there. Yeah, have we started recording? Yes, we've started recording. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'm just turning down the remix. Um, the reason why I didn't say the official name was because the background theme should make sense. Uh, it's an interesting remix. If actually. it doesn't make sense, do use um, your phone, find out what show it is, stop listening to this shit and go and watch the show quick. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's called It's Always Sunny in Birmingham. Obviously, it's a very ironic title because it's never sunny. And according to Google, a legally sound title, so no one can sue us. <laughs> uh, on today's podcast, uh, we're going to uh, talk about uh, our, mini, our first impressions of Yakuza 0. There's a more in-depth review finished when we finish the game as it's a huge damn game it's a lot bigger than i thought it was uh our worries about uh, xbox uh, xbox both the one and the scorpio uh the, obviously the news of the month i suppose yeah and we're gonna prepare to have a little bit of information about the switch which we'll get into later anyway it's pretty much the switch is always hyped about for now it's less than a month less than this a month ne- away this time next month we'll be sitting down pre- playing pre-order. zelda pre-orders locked in Games pre-ordered, honestly. Games I'm pre-ordered as well. I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is that I, I'm, I'm gonna get Binding of Isaac for it, and I'm gonna put so many hours into Binding of Isaac again. It's. I've, I've got you on Steam. Haven't you already put like a, a fucking ridiculous yeah. amount of hours into it on Steam? Like a thousand. Well, put it this way. I've, no, I've, I've played like 500 hours of um, of Rebirth, but oh god, the female did. Let me just put on some Nintendo. We get to remix remixes. All right, we play. We only play remixes here. I'm not playing the Nightcore Esquire. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is still pretty loud. Um. Okay. Yeah, I have 500 hours on the original uh, Binding of Isaac, but I've also watched well over a thousand hours of uh, Northern Lion play it. So. Um, it's a good game, guys. If you're getting the Switch, get it. And if you're not getting the Switch, then it's on every other console. Anyway, moving on to our first point. The it's 10 the news. biggest news stories of gaming in the week. So let's just right. get it. Let me just get it up. Yeah, um, I'm going to get it up. <laughs> number one. Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is due to come out October, November, is confirmed to have a campaign. And more excitingly... Feature across multiple, multiple ears. Ears. Era, ears. 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 Is what it's ears. Here. Ears. So, prequel, original series, current series, Clone Wars, Elf Rebels. Ears, um, pointy ears, just all of the ears. This is what you um, get. This is what you get for making a spelling mistake. To be fair, I still don't care because I think it would still be a terrible game because the first one was awful. I oh, play. Just... I went back and played the original two. Uh, before. The original two were amazing. They they were they were, but now they're a bit dated. Very dated. Yeah, but very, very. To be dated. fair, if you mod, you can mod them really easily, and they're just as good. Oh no, I mean like graphically, it's more like the amount of people on screen and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not a fan of how they basically turned it into Battlefield, Battlefield, Battle, mm. Battlefield, Battlefield. I'm more worried about the fact that I don't care, care about campaign. Or multiplayer um, like eras, I really, 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 really want space battles, like proper space battles, like when you in the original one, when you could like fly from a ship to a planet, kill people, jump in, land on the cruise ship, kill everyone. That for me was like the best thing about the original series. Yeah, but that, that's all I have really have to say on that uh, that topic. Just... But I think it's interesting because it definitely seemed to Does be. Does that have a release date yet? Like a release window? Is it like this no, year, next year? I've... Um, it's coming out this year. It's coming out. I'm guessing probably holiday, late November, early December before um, Last Jedi comes out. It'll yeah. tie in with that. Oh yeah, no, definitely that. That makes sense. But I think they're definitely. They're definitely. I kind of want a Rogue One g- uh, video game. <laughs> oh, there is Rogue One levels in um in char- in, in um some DLC for Battlefield Front. Okay, that's great. Uh, yeah, but it looks. It looks like. I give them credit. It looks like they're listening to what people's complaints were with the first one. Well, okay, the, 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 that's the great thing about gaming these days—the fact that some companies actually listen. Uh, the reason why Hitman 
it was one of my favorite games of last year, it's because they listened to the feedback about Absolution, and then... Well, there's some people still bitched about the... The, about the season pass. About the season pass. Really I, I, I really like it. Uh, season 2 should be starting um, probably mid this year, I think. Yeah, about May time. If about May is time. I'm definitely going to be paying attention to that. The story is pretty interesting as well. Anyway, moving on to our Next second piece story of news. Is, is, I never thought I'd say this, but something Xbox has been able to do for three and a half years, um, but the PS4 will be able to do with the new update, is you can finally add an external hard drive of up to 8 terabytes to your PlayStation 4 for gaming goodness. Fun fact, fun fact, Xbox One uh, wasn't the only thing that they could do, that could do it. The Wii U also had this feature. <laughs> oh, to be fair, I had that because I had a 32 gigabyte Wii U and I bought the NBA game that, do you remember that really famous NBA game that takes up like 480% of the hard drive? <laughs> I yeah. bought it just to see if it was true, but yeah. Yet again, the, the, again Sony trailing behind Nintendo. <laughs> I think that's a really good, smart move because I think I'm going, I'm buying both Ghost Recon and Mass Effect Andromeda on PS4 digitally because I just want to play them straight away. It's easier. I'm quite happy that I don't have to. I know it's very easy to put a new hard drive in, but I don't want to because I don't really want to break my warranty on my PlayStation 4, etc. Mm. The fact that I have like spare hard drives sitting around like candy in my in my like garage thing. In fact, I can just hook an 8 terabyte one up to there and have like a 10 terabyte yeah. PlayStation 4 is great news for me. Like, I'm really happy that's actually finally come. Yeah, no, de um, no, definitely. I mean, I probably, I probably won't use it because I'm not that much of a digital uh, mm. person. The only digital ones I download are the PlayStation Plus games, which uh, actually, while we're on the on the uh, on this particular thing, it is yeah. actually news of the month. So I'll just get that up. Oh, um, it's, it's actually all... Oh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's, it's, it's not it's, the worst one they've had. The problem... It's just, we're going to go off topic quickly, but I feel PlayStation Plus has been a bit crap recently. It's been... It's been... It's been very... Bipolar in the way that it's had some really good stuff. Some really... No, or I'll tell you how to describe it. If you go on Xbox Reddit, Basically, they're always complaining about how PlayStation gets better games. If you go on the PlayStation Reddit, they're always complaining how PS Plus is complete shit and Xbox like Games with Gold gets better content. Well, Xbox Games with Gold gets really old games as well. And then everyone could bitch about Nintendo getting one free game for only one month that you've already played like 40 that, times. Although that's not been 100% confirmed. Also, the on, uh, have you heard the reasoning for the, uh, what, uh, re the, the idea for we'll that? We'll come on to that later. We'll come on to that in the late. late what, 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 <laughs> Always dying to talk about the Switch here at UK by Gaming. Um, okay, so what we have... Wait, 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 wait. I was just going to go over the PlayStation Plus thing real quick. Actually, I would be interested to see what that is. Uh, Little Big Planet 3. Meh. So that was obviously the best of the Little Big Planet. Was that a PS4 game or PS3 game? That was a PS4 game. Uh, Not a Hero is an interesting indie game that's kind of like... Uh, I think it's made by the same people that made uh, that Hell game where you play as that bunny with the wheel. Yeah. Uh, Star Wall is that party game where you both play as a uh, uh, swimming unicorn and you have to pierce the other. Yeah. Uh, and then Ninja Senkai DX, which is a game. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to lo load the uh, PS. There we go. It is a side. It's a it's Ninja Gaiden. But it's a Ninja Gaiden clone, complete with uh, really retro looking stuff. Metroidvania type, I think. Yeah. And Tokyo is like N plus, but kind of uglier looking. Oh, fair, huh? So yeah, not the best uh, best of things. But if you haven't like got Little Big Planet three, or you haven't got St Star Wars, is really good though. I only have one PS4 controller though, so I can't really play it. <laughs> um, anyway, next news: Square Enix um, sign a multi-year deal I'm with not... Marvel. Marvel to produce multiple games starting with an Avengers game coming 2018. I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm not happy about uh, about Square doing this because this is this has made them delay the Final Fantasy VII remake and more importantly, it's made them delay Kingdom Hearts 3. That's gonna be a shit game anyway. Yeah, definitely because um, obviously 0.2 totally showed that. Um, I'm being sarcastic, of course. Uh, so yeah, I mean, what kind of game do you think it's going to come out for? Do you think it's going to be like a 4 game with even worse special effects than the movies have? It's good. The movies are fine. Stop shooting on the movies or I will just end this chat now. I'm on about 4 in particular, the early ones. 
Look, I don't care. Like, I'm not gonna. I'll probably play them. They'll be all right. There won't be anything special. I don't know. It depends on how they do it. Like if they make them um open, like uh, um like you know open world RPGs. The thing is though, this is the thing that's pissed me off really a lot. They've announced it, but they haven't even announced anything. I wish they'd just waited to E3 and then showed us gameplay because. Mm, it, yeah, it's it's. It, was it, like, no, it just annoys me that they've announced it, but they haven't even announced like what type of games it's going to be. So I can't even get excited over that. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it's meant to be something uh, excited about, and I feel like this is a thing that the, uh, the, they've tr yeah. tried to, uh, they're trending a lot uh, these days in gaming, is they'll announce the title's existence, but they won't show anything off it until the year it's going to be released. Mm. Like, uh, and I kind of like that, because, you know, there's no endless... Because, put it this way, like, the, the six-month wait between the Nintendo Switch's uh, announcement to, obviously, the disappointing conference to the launch is, you know, agonizing enough. It should... I, I, I just feel like at this point in the time, games are so hyped that you can't really drag them out that long. Otherwise, yeah. you'll lose interest. Uh, I'm more upset that because of this, they've put, they've, um, and the disappointing sales of Deus Ex, they've put off the third sequel now. That's made me sad because I wanted a third one because Mankind Divided was disappointed. I'll be, I'll be honest, there would be riots if they put Deus Ex above uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake or Kingdom Hearts anyway. <laughs> They're different teams, anyway. Number I, four. I, I just... Um, we'll discuss this a lot later, and I'm literally just going to announce and we'll switch them to number five. Nintendo Switch is going to tour the UK. Well, we say the UK, it's just England. And I'm just saying, we do happen to live in the UK, if that gives you a hint about the later yeah. topic. Um, anyway, um, there's a ghost... That's happening, that's happening over the next yep. weekend, every weekend until the launch. There's the Ghost Recon closed beta, uh, Which, starting this weekend, so today. It's really good. Um, I don't care what... I know... I know people who have played it, and... Um, I'm not when I say play it, they play the beta as well. Um, they, some of them don't like it. I like it. I don't think you'll like it if it's kind of like the division. It's not as good if you don't have friends to play it. Right, right. But does it you feel? Have, like, does have, it, I haven't actually got a chance to actually get into the full, uh, full, uh, full game yet. Uh, besides it's the test, worth I play. Play, only worth playing if you play it with friends, even if it's just one friend. But is it? Worth, but is it? Does it feel like a Ghost Recon game, or does it feel like Division? Like, I like Division, but I just, you know... It feels like the Division, but it feels a lot more refined. Yeah, well, I, it, that's understandable. And the focus on single player, it kind of feels... if It generally feels like the Ghost Recon game I never knew I wanted. Ghost Recon games have always been very linear in the sense that the world's been a bit open, but more or less, you know, you have to go from A to B to, like, kill all the enemies. Yeah, I just hope this, this isn't the permanent like the direction they're taking the series in. I hope it is actually because from what I've played, it's um, a generally really good um, way to go because you generally do, for, even though one area is open and all the missions are open, you generally do feel like. Uh, I'm worried about the story taking an impact though because the division story was kind of. No, the story so far is good. Like I've only played a couple of missions, but the story seems, it seems like your typical story. How but... does the uh, how does the beta like limit you? By the way, is it just like a limited area for like the missions? It's, yes, limited area, but the area itself is pretty big okay all right and how's the I, ai um ai is actually forgot a ubisoft game the ai is actually really good not just the enemy ai your teammate ai as well like enemies will see they'll call reinforcements the um but for instance i started my general tactic when i'm going to clear a base is for me to um like snipe it from ages away so like mark all the enemies with a drone and then disable the alarms if I can, and then pick them off one by one. But someone saw a body, and then they called in enemies, and I had to actually end up retreating. But then I retried really doing the thing at night, and it was a lot easier because I just went in with a silent sniper rifle, and the enemy killed in the same place. The enemy couldn't see him anymore. It was actually a very good game for what I'd expect with Ubisoft. Yeah, Ubisoft doesn't make bad games, they just make No, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I've never yeah, had an issue like... with the Ubisoft beta though, that's that's like my thing, like there was a lot of issues, uh, there was no issues with the um, Division beta, but when it came out there was quite a lot. So I think there's probably going to be the initial st server stress. Yeah. So I, I would definitely say if you're going to pick up Ghost if Recon... If I was Ubisoft, I would have made this weekend open instead of a closed beta because I really would have wanted to stress test um, when's the, the server. Uh, when's the game out, by the way? Four day. I've got to complete Legend of Zelda within eighty-two hours. 
Like that week, was Legend of Zelda comes out Friday. I would play it all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday Ghost Recon comes out. See, I'm tempted to get it, but I'm just torn between uh, what version do I, uh, what version do I want? Because you want to get like... PS4 because I'm getting it on PS4. Mm. Or get it on PC because it's free online. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's the thing, my, my, uh, I actually haven't renewed my Plus yet. <laughs> I've, got, I've got it pre-ordered on PS, um, on, on Steam anyway. Or you play actually. Cause on you play, yeah. And it's going to be cheap, and I can probably get it cheaper on... Uh... G2A. Whoa, 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 would you, not, would you not advocate the site that recently uh, did an AMA? That was fucking, that was the best <laughs> AMA ever. It was a... Anyway, number seven. I did not. I, I did not have sexual March, intercourse with that woman. Sony. But we'll say March. By the end of March, which is Q1 2014. Whoa, whoa, you skip year. one. You, you, you skip one. Oh yeah, number six, Rainbow Six, which is a great game. It's gonna be free this weekend. We'll just play it. Great game. Uh, played loads of hours of it. Uh, I'm just gonna squeeze in the bit of news that isn't on here now. Um, the. You have ten seconds. The creators of Abe's Odyssey did a kind of like online scavenger hunt. Uh, which resulted in the uh, image of the Mudokan, the guy you play, uh, one of the pe the race of the people you play in the first game, and it it looks gorgeous. This game is like going to be a really pretty game. Uh, I don't know what's coming to. It's it's <laughs> all we know is it's called um, a, a, a Soulstorm, Oddworld Soulstorm, and that it looks like it's probably going to follow the uh, uh, the gameplay of the original two games rather than the later two games. We'll, we we'll probably see it at E3. If I'm being honest. Um, number seven, by March 2016, to the end of the financial year, Sony expects to sell 60 million PlayStation 4 units, which, considering it's only been out for three and a half years, is pretty damn amazing. Well, yeah, well, you know, when your only option is the um, the Xbox One or the Wii U, it kind of helps. But also, I think it's pretty amazing considering, like, in just general, 60 million, like. So far, it's pretty good for. Well, Sony. it's it's supposed to be on task. Apparently, it's on path to outsell the Wii. Yeah, I've heard. It, yeah, I've heard it's going to outsell the Wii. Interesting though. I love in the sales forecast they announce how many PS4 units. They don't announce how many PSVR units they've shipped or PS4 Pro units they've shipped. There's quite a lot of um, PSVR out there actually. Yeah, like still uh, ten ten percent of Resident Evil Seven players are VR players. Yeah, that's good, but I still think PSVR is a fad and it will go. But anyway, I don't know. As long as it gives you, as long as it lets people like, if they can get like two more games like Resident Evil as uh, as PSVR, then it's probably worth picking up the system just for those games. Anyway, Nintendo cancels Project Giant Robot, which is a bit upsetting because I can see why they did. I can see why they did it, but I'm surprised they didn't port it because I thought, it, especially with motion controls, it would have ported quite well to the Switch. And I think. Well, yeah, but the whole thing was built around the Wii U, like the ex everything. What's the, what's the Wii U? <laughs> but it was me and Mo's pet project, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, because I like it, it was like the thing that he first showed off when the the Wii U was. Debuted. I don't remember it, to be completely honest. It's probably uh, okay. Uh, the, uh, same on along the same vein. Zelda is the last first party. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild is the last first party, first party. Wii U game. It's not a surprise to anyone. I don't think. I'm. T I wonder how many units it. I'll be interested to know how many units it sells. Probably. I don't know. I mean, I could easily see it at less than a million. I could see it outselling the Switch version. <laughs> Uh, maybe in the short term, not in the long oh, term. Oh, not in the long term, but I mean, like, on day one, I think the Wii U version might sell more just because a lot of people. I will. I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to jump up for this uh, Switch. Uh, 10 FIFA 18 gets another story, uh, gets a story mode, so it's the second. The first one was alright, actually. I mean, it was basically just a normal FIFA game, just with a few cutscenes, but it was. Interesting in that. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I, had, I never played uh, FIFA 17, but I did play uh, the NBA game of that year, and uh, it had the same thing. It like had its own story based around it, and yeah, it adds a little bit of uh, intrigue to it. I just hope there's a bit, maybe a bit more customization, a bit more interaction. And uh, I believe in FIFA 17, it, uh, if you like lost matches, it would determine the cutscenes you got and the choices yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it which was basically, is... it was very good for its first attempt, but there's, easy, there's easily like loads of areas it can easily improve. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I feel like uh, they're really going in the step in the right direction, and I might pick it up on the Switch, because it is going to the Switch. Or is it? But, but it is. It's, it's, 
Yeah, but it might just be multiplayer and traditional FIFA. That was another room on Reddit this week from a reliable source that's got a lot of information right that apparently the Switch version won't have the story mode. It will just have the um, traditional FIFA mode that you'd expect. Well, as long as it's not the PS3 port, which has been debunked already. It's PS4. Does PS3 you still get FIFA? Yes, PS3 and Xbox 360 still get every FIFA. And that was the rumour that that was the port that the Switch was going to get, but that was debunked by EA. It's being made on a, it's, it's a custom FIFA made on a custom engine. Ooh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, yep, yeah, that's those. Te that's the ten. That's the that's the news of the uh, of the of the week. So, what are we going on to first? Uh, what we're going to we're going to next is. We we're prepare gonna... to. We're gonna go. We're going to uh, the the O2 Arena. <laughs> are we going to the O2 Arena? That's where it is, I believe. Oh, no. isn't it? Oh, oh gee. it's it's next to it. Is it? Yeah, it's next to it. I thought that like the whole building was the. It's part of the same. It's part of the complex. Okay. I think. Right. Yeah. So as we said earlier, there is an inter uh, there is a switch to event in the UK, and obviously we. Snatched up, uh, snatched up tickets the minute they went up. Well, I did. You were asleep. Oh, I was asleep. But you haven't right. really messed up sleeping <laughs> Uh But yeah, we're going. So we're gonna be able to tell you guys how the switch, you know, how the Joy Cons feel, how good the resolution on the screen looks. Well, obviously we know we know it's 720p, but like, you know, how how clear does it look? Okay, then we'll stop there. I want to ask. We're gonna go for sections, and we each take our own turn. I want to know. Three things you'll want to get out of go when you go to the event next time. No, three things you'll want to get out of it. Three concerns you fear might become true at the event, and then three other random tidbits of information that you're looking forward to, or you etc. That kind of thing. Um. Okay. So should um, we start with um what you want to get out of it? Okay. What three things do you want to get out of it? We'll go. Now, do you want to do? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be cheeky, and I'm gonna subcategorize the three things I want to get out of it. Okay, right. I'll go first then. Right. I think the first thing I want to do, I want to get a Nintendo feeling out of it, if that makes sense. Mm. I want to go there, and I want to member bear. I want to be able to eat member berries and remember my childhood, if that makes sense. Like, I want to play Mario Kart with you and remember Mario Kart as a child. I want to play Splatoon and also remember the hardcore side of Nintendo. I want to play Zelda and remember the adventures. I, I want we're, to... We're, we're, not, we're not playing Zelda. Oh yeah, oh, I should add that. We're, refu we're, we're not we're playing refusing, Zelda. We're boycotting Zelda, don't buy... No. Um... But I want to be able to play, like, for instance, ARMS and remember the best bits of the Wii. I want to be able to I want to remember, basically, go there and come out of there thinking, yes, this is going to be the perfect third console for me to support my PlayStation and my PC. Mm. What about you? Um, yeah, I, w I really want to try ARMS because it looked dumb in the trailer. And then yeah. ever since people played it, it's apparently really good. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, okay, it's probably another Splatoon situation. There. And I want to play Splatoon. Because, um... It's Splat definitely called Splatoon. Yeah, yeah. Not Splatoon. Spl Spl Splatoon. Um, as blasphemous as it sounds, I haven't played Splatoon, so I'm gonna That's suck. It's a great game, I'm gonna destroy you. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait, that's definitely a day one buy for me when it uh, comes out. And, um, is Bomberman there? No, it's only like first party games. Oh, it's only first party there. Oh, and Snipper Clips. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it looks like a fun little puzzle game that I can just scream at Alessandro for. Oh, I'm also interesting about getting uh, footage from our first, uh... I thought, uh, you know, first uh, technically gaming event. I'm hoping also we go there and we get to see... Reggie is my far-fetched thing. I want oh, Reggie no, to no. do that. That's I'm my... hoping we get to go there and we get to see, basically, something new, like... <sighs> it's weird, but the kind of the way Nintendo's advertised you, you're only going to really be going to that if you've already pre-ordered the Switch. Yeah. Um... I want to be able to go there and come back excited, like, in a way that I'm not currently. I don't think they'll show anything new. Oh, no, I don't expect them to show anything new. <laughs> We're going to uh, announce a new Donkey Kong game exclusively at the Birmingham <laughs> Nintendo event. Uh, that, would be, that would be a pretty dope way of doing it, though, if they, like, show, like announce different stuff at different countries of uh, events. Find out if there's any more announcements. I think the, the, mm. they've laid it out the way they're going to lay it out. 
Uh, I want to play the, I want to, with the Pro Controller. I've heard... Actually, yeah, that's the one thing I want to do. I want to play the Pro Controller. I want to try all different controllers, like... I yeah, want to see... I want to see the different uh, ways you can play it. Because, to be fair, that's the one thing. I'm tempted to pre-order a Pro Controller. It'll be next assay as to whether I actually... Mm, mm. I think I'm going to wait, from what I've heard, I'm probably going to wait until till, till Spl yeah, Splatoon comes out. I should, I would be surprised if Nintendo, if Nintendo were really clever, they would do like a Splatoon Pro Controller bundle, mm. special design Pro Especially Controller. Especially because they're going for like the eSports look with uh, Splatoon. Yeah. But yeah, no, I've heard some really good things about the uh, Pro Controller. I've heard like only one bad thing. It was really weird. I was reading it. It was just like every, the article was the only per, uh, negative one I've seen about it. Apparently the, uh, the, oh, the, that's the thing. There's no D-pad. Uh, I've never really been a big, uh, you know, caring about D-pads on controllers because I, I'm used to mm. the PS4s, so it's not, you know, it's not a huge deal breaker. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to play every form of the uh, of the controller because I believe you play with the Pro Controller for Splatoon. Uh, you play with uh, in handheld mode for Mario Kart, and you you can do it in any way. Because in the handheld mode, for instance, um, what do you call it? We're going to be able to next week play on our own, but then we we'll each you and me will each be able to take a Joy-Con and do like the dual screen. Co-op Joy-Con thing. I don't know if they're actually if they show that up there. No, we are. With I've seen online. It says you can try. Uh, basically, you've seen it. Their, mm. their tagline is everything you've seen so far. You can try out for yourself now. Okay. All right. Well, that, that's going to be in. that's my that's the only thing I think I'm not going to do. I uh, watched the Angry Joe's mm. uh, review on it, and apparently it was the it's been a little bit too small to be that side side cross thing. But I've also heard from a lot of other people mixed reviews. So it's really just going to be about being there. Forming your opinion. As for uh, concerns that might come true, uh, yeah. the, the Joy Cons being too small is one of them. Um, Actually, yeah, I'm very concerned that that might be it. I'm also concerned that the Joy Cons. <sighs> it's not a problem people have had, but I'm concerned the Joy Cons might feel a bit. With. with... Um, when you're using them as a Wii Moat kind of thing, I'm concerned they might be a bit too small then. I've heard for that that like it just becomes an extension of your hand almost, like because you it just you fully grip it, mm. and so it's not like because they're so probably really light, you don't really feel it as a controller. Which if that works, is that's uh, that's fine. Yeah, uh, but... And my only other concern is is one too is am I not going to be able to feel ice cubes in the? Mm. I in think. The Generally speaking, the only concerns I've got, I've got probably two or three. I've got, I'm concerned that the glare on the screen, like I'm going to take, I'm going to flash my phone's light in it, depending to be the sun, because I want to see what it, the screen's like when you're outside. That's a concern I have. Um, I'm also tempted, I'm also concerned that how easy it is to undock and dock. I know it looks very easy. But I'm just interested in how easy it is. Yeah, I mean, from from what I've seen, it's you just because it's got like grooves and grips on the side to make it easier to just slide it in. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the light issue, I believe it depends on what um, bat light setting it is. If it's mm -hmm. anything like the 3DS, like the 3DS is useless outside on low bat on oh, low yeah. brightness. But you crank that baby up to max, and you can see anything. Oh yeah, no. So yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I definitely that. I mean, just the general feel of the thing. But yeah, we're excited. We're, we're very excited. We're even dragging along uh, Phil from the... Uh... Is he playing armor right now? Yeah, he's playing armor right now. Is that all he plays? Sometimes he plays. I think he's... No, no, he's, I think he's playing Planet Side 2. So sad. Um, <laughs> if, yeah, he, he's, if, Donald he's... Trump, if Donald Trump tweeted him, he would just have the word sad in capital letters in exclamation mark. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Phil's the uh, the other guy that was with us for the Nintendo Switch conference. Basically, he's the glory hunter. Although you can't really see that because as I've rewatched that conference video, basically something happened with the encryption and it just blurs out like so often. So we're probably going to stream a lower bit rate for um uh, I think we'll explain our plans for the uh, Switch launch. And also we'll probably get sued by Nintendo. Well, obviously we're going to get sued by Nintendo. It's just a thing that happens. Right, moving on. Uh, Yakuza Zero. So I'd like to top the, uh, start our uh, Yakuza Zero review by thanking Sega. <laughs> Sega. Sega was kind enough to give us a review copy of Yakuza Zero, uh, which is obviously a, a, a big deal for the uh, for fans. Well, we're going to keep this very brief because we have we have we have a written review going up and a uh, full review 
like video that we'll do um, when we both uh, complete the game because it's got like it's 17 chapters long. There's I think a hundred side quests to do, mm. and yeah, I'm probably gonna jump on that after I uh, upload this. Actually, try and get some uh, get some more shogi done. Generally, I think we both like it, don't we? Really good game. Uh, I think it's better than Final Fantasy 15. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which is yeah. an odd statement to make about a niche Japanese game. But it just, it's got so much content. The combat is really fluid and like opens up as you go for the game. Like just as you feel it's about to get stale, you get a new fighting style or um, a new character. Or you get uh, new, you know, the chance to unlock new abilities. And the story is really well told. The, uh, the voice acting is very dramatic. The facial, rec the facial capture is amazing. Like the... The lip syncing and the the facial animations are just great. No, it's generally I think it's generally a good game. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I, I do. Think... I pick it up. It's, it's probably my. I'd pick it up as well, even if even if it's, it's kind of like Persona in the sense that it's one of the few JRPGs that I know a lot of a lot of people I know are scared of JRPG kind of mm. or Japanese focused games because they think it's not gonna be accessible. If you like Persona 4 Golden, you'll like this because it is, in the same sense, very accessible to the masses. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I actually read a review of the game where they actually said it was the most accessible Yakuza game ever. And I definitely agree. The combat is um, a lot, I would say, simplified almost. Um, in a good way. In a good way. Like the way that you have switch, uh, switching stances and stuff like that, and money gathering is a lot easier. And the leveling up is a lot, uh, is a lot faster. Everything just feels a lot more clean. I'll be back in a second because my. Um, Laptop's about to die, so I'm going to swap over to my desktop. That's fine. I'll just, I I'll just keep talking about you guys. Yeah, just, you keep actually. Yeah, just do that for a minute because I can boot up and I can cross connect it. Okay. But yeah, no, I'll give you my views before I go. Generally, I think it's a very good game. I'd recommend it to anyone who um, wants to get it. It's one of the best games. It's better than Final Fantasy XV since it's more approachable. Combat solid, frame rate is solid, graphics are solid. The story is both serious, but also enjoyable at the same time. Okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, that's great, guys. Don't worry about the buzzing. It's it's a it's a thing that happens. Uh, in fact, I'm just gonna mute the desktop audio while he. Yeah, I, I'm just so now I'm the only one that has to put up with the uh, with the buzzing. But unfortunately, you can't hear Alessandro anymore. Uh, so yeah, you, um, Yakuza 0, uh, the story is more accessible now because it's the beginning of the Yakuza franchise, well, it's before the beginning of the Yakuza franchise, which is interesting, is it lets like, you like see the origin of Kiryu and Sakayama and a lot of other big staples, like the Dojima clan and all of the Toyo unit. And the way that just the story uh, plays out, it's, it's very much like a hardened gangster film, there's so much respect shown between them and the fights are pretty ridiculous in a way there is one where you uh, break into a um, window while a bunch of, a bunch of guards are uh, taking a piss and you kick the shit out of them uh complaints about the game complaints complaints one, one second okay, let me just bring you yeah, it's the game at the start can be a it take it takes a bit too long in my opinion to get properly going yes yeah uh yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, it, it, I think they could give you the access to side quests a bit faster as well, because uh, side quests are the second best part of Yuku as a game. The main g campaign is so serious and so you know dramatic and really in depth, interesting story. And um, then you have a side uh, side mission where you have to teach a girl how to be a dominatrix. I think what? I think that's the, that's the be that's best way of showing the contrast in Yakuza 0. One, you're hunting down a gang member. Um, the other, you're helping a couple solve a crossword for a uh, reason that I won't spoil. Uh, but yeah, the, the side quests actually have some uh, some really heartfelt stories in them. I was, I was surprised. I love doing the side quests in the game. It's probably my favorite thing to do when I'm uh, trying to wind down. Uh, there's loads of mini games. There is so many mini games. Uh, this game actually taught me how to play Shogi which is basically Japanese chess, where if you capture an opponent's piece, you can actually then turn that piece to your side and drop it anywhere on the field. So it's chess that's way more difficult than normal. Yeah, yeah. So, so much value for your money, buy it. It's a, it's, it's a buy. Mm. I get yeah. an, egg, an egg out of the... 
Ten. Uh, an egg. Is that a, is that a Frank reference? Yeah, it's a Frank reference. What, what about it? Dope. It's dope. It's dope. Okay, so we're moving on to our final topic of the day. And that is our concerns about the Xbox One and, in the future, how it's, how it's the Xbox shit Scorpio. Uh, I'm the biggest... Before we get dislikes for Xbox fanboys, I'm a massive Xbox fanboy, but I haven't turned my Xbox on. I haven't had a reason to turn my Xbox on for like a good couple of months. Xbox One, to me, it's just... Awful. Like, it's the worst console right now. The late... Uh, I was actually an Xbox fanboy originally, um, but it was, like, towards the very end of the 360 lifespan, where, you know, obviously, like, um, obviously, uh, like, where the PS3 got games like Last of Us, and then Uncharted 3, yeah. you know, all the big hard hitters. Yeah, um, that, that, the PS3 had a really good last, like, last... Yeah, I mean, yeah. Th- like, that, that's around the time that Xbox started to peter off, and you expected that they'd bring it back with the Xbox One, and then there was obviously the whole always online DRM can't share trade games debacle which lost connect. a lot connect being mandatory which lost a lot of faith in um, consumers and so you yeah. know and they I, they finally I, crawled their way up to a point where I can kind of not laugh at their existence like they they're okay now uh, i would disagree with that massively no no like, they're okay as a company now when uh, it comes company, to their yeah. games? That's the problem. The problem with Xbox right now, in my opinion, is that the games don't... Aren't, the games aren't there. Do you want to play, uh, do you want play Dead Rising uh, 4? Get it on it's PC. Not on PS4. Get on PC. PC even. Yeah, get on yeah. PC. Do you want to play uh, Quantum Break? Get it on PC. Do you want to play... The point is... is the point that... That, also, the point is, it's not just that <coughs> it's all, most of their games, apart from Halo, are on PC. It's they're, they're also not very good. Yeah. The one, when they do get exclusives, they're all right. And Halo Quantum 4 Break was terrible. Halo 4 was was or Halo 4 wasn't a PS Xbox. Master Chief Collection was good, but again, those remasters. There's remasters. P- Halo 4. Halo 5. Was the start Halo of 4. The was Halo 5 was awful. And the Halo 5 got worse. And I definitely think that the next Halo isn't going to be that great. <laughs> Yeah, I go and have my hype. Unless they um, like, unless they do like a adva- like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare level tone change. Uh, but Quantum Break was massive disappointment. Wasn't that good? I think uh, it relied too much on the, the its gimmick, the fact that it was also a TV show. And the TV show wasn't that good. It was terribly acted. Um, that's uh, that, that's one thing I saw in someone's review of Yakuza Zero, uh, Yakuza Zero was that the acting in Yakuza Zero felt more realistic than the acting in um, Quantum Break, which is. Uh, but no, but seriously, I'm. Well, they're bringing out the Scorpion this year. Well, I, and I, I just don't think I don't see that doing as well at all because. The Scorpio would do well if it has games, but they've said outright that, that, that for the foreseeable long-term future, they're not going to be any Scorpio no exclusives. game. But the problem is, they don't even have that good a library on... Well, that's the thing, like, if they had a Scorpio exclusive games, would that matter, though? Would it, wouldn't it just be, like, another a prettier Halo and, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I exactly know what you mean. Um, okay, um, just to prove a point about um, games... <laughs> Uh, that they don't have. I've just gone to the Xbox One Reddit, and it has the upcoming releases. Uh, and we have here, 2017, uh, Resident Evil 7, which is already out, and now it's a multi-plat. For Honor, which is a multi-plat. Sniper Elite 4, which is a multi-plat. multi-plat. Halo Wars 2. Okay, multi-plat. okay, so Sea of Thieves is coming out in the first quarter, and I've heard yeah, but- that that's actually pretty good. Uh, but it's from yeah, Rare. Yeah, it's coming out on PC, isn't it? Yes, it's also a PC game. As is Halo Wars 2. Yep, as is Halo Wars 2. Um, a game called... Uh, oh yeah, Crackdown 3 is uh, going to come out at some point. But I've heard Mick... I, was it Angry Joe's video? I can't remember. I've watched several videos of people online and everyone said, um, don't get too excited for that because apparently they're struggling to like make it... Oh no, I think it's going to get cancelled. I don't, it won't get cancelled. They've invested way too much money in it's, it. Well, that, that's what I mean. It, it's but it's been delayed too much. I think no. They said it's the reason it got delayed this time was because they wanted it to be like um, they wanted to launch it alongside the Scorpio to make it like their their 
I'll take ta- mm. look, look look what the Scorpio can do. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll tell you what, though. Uh, the Xbox One does have a game I want, and it's not coming out on PC, which pisses me off. Cuphead. Have you yeah, seen Cuphead? That'll cut, now, that's, I think that's only a timed exclusive anyway. I don't think so. I think it's being made by... Um... MD, uh, MDHR. Okay, which... but no offense, it's only one game. Huh? It is only one game. It's gonna sell like terrible. It's very it's pretty, one, it? and I hope it better come to PC. It will do. Um, is it a timed exclusive? Nope, lifetime exclusive. For now. For now. So uh, it's probably gonna. I hope it gets poor because it's it's basically a Disney like old school Disney cartoon that you can play through. Uh, a game called Flint Hook is uh is coming out. This is just a really good time just to see what Xbox One's really got coming out for it. So. Flint Hook Expo Room. Pretty boring. Uh, it's an indie game. No, not to disparage, it's not like, you know, it's just a... It's something that I think will also come out on PC. Uh, Phantasmal City of Darkness. Uh, Prey is a more... Uh, Scalebound. That- well, apparently this Reddit hasn't updated itself in a while. Oh, State of Decay 2 is, a, is obviously one of the big ones. Uh, was the original really good? <laughs> Yeah, the original was actually not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'm hoping not, it... I don't not, want Xbox One to fail. <laughs> I don't, but, God forbid, if they carry this on, they're in trouble. Oh, God. No, fa- 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 uh, Phantasmal uh, City of Darkness is an early access horror game with a 3 out of 10 by Destructoid, and it came out in 2015, so not sure why that's uh, coming out on the Xbox One. <laughs> I generally think, though, the Xbox One is... See, I don't want to bitch it because I love Xbox. Xbox. Xbox 360 is still my favourite console of all time. If GameCube existed, I'm just saying. No, but, like, I remember like playing Modern Warfare 2, Splinter Cell with my best friends as a child. That's understandable, but even now, you're stating multiplats. Yeah, no, but, like... <laughs> but that's the thing. I don't... Xbox has never really been strong in the exclusive department, which is weird for why it's the thing is, an issue now. The reason Xbox did so well last year was because last generation was because it wasn't. It, it was that. This is why I think they'll survive next generation because even though the Xbox One wasn't as powerful as the PS3, Xbox 360 wasn't as powerful as the PS3. It still got all the multiplayer, um, you know, multi platform. I think it was the price of the PS3 was the main reason why the Xbox One sold. Uh, sorry, the Xbox 360s um, sold so well. I think, to be fair, what Nintendo, Microsoft has to really do is they need to uh, basically, and I think they've done this, they need to effectively give up this generation, which I think they've done. Ah, uh, taking the old Nintendo approach, I see. <laughs> no, but I think, they need to give, I think next generation, which I think still, I know some people are like, oh, next generation won't happen. I think 2020, we will see a new generation of consoles. Although I I've, do expect it to be um, pretty similar in the terms of, I think there's going to oh, be major innovations. I expect oh, no, no, I better think, VR. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. if it's better integration of VR and better integration of like inter- internet and web and it'd be like they will be as space. close as possible to being PCs. Uh, yeah, they'll basically generations. be PCs, just like slimlined. Yeah. But I generally think they need. And Microsoft have got something that Sony hasn't got. They have got a fuck ton of money to sit on. Like they've got like because obviously Sony's doing well in the PlayStation department, but as the rest of the con- company, it's not doing that well. Also, it takes a loss on the Yeah, Microsoft is not doing so well in the Xbox department, even though they're doing all right. But generally speaking, everyone has a Windows machine, and they make a lot of money via their products like that. Yeah, I if mean, I, like, if, if I was any- Microsoft, all I would do is I would design a system. Start, they're obviously going to start designing the system now. I'm sure PlayStation designing the PlayStation 5 now. They design a system that they know will be on par to whatever the PS5 will do. Then, and five years time, when it comes out, whenever it comes out, it's on par. They need to spend money, and they need to have lined up four or five exclusives. They need their own Naughty Dog. They need their own Sony Santa Monica Studio. They need their own J- Japanese studio. I know the Xbox would never have Japanese support, but well, you know, Xbox they, used they need to. They That's need. The thing. They it need. Used to. They need their own. How do you call it? They need their own. Yeah, they need like, their own studios. They need the second party. That's what they're called. And also, I'll be very tempted to also undersell next next um, thing. 
if they say if PlayStation can say PlayStation 4 5 is 349 pounds if I was so Microsoft I would lose 20 quid because most game companies make money back on software and I'll say it's 310 pounds it's a very it's a very optimistic uh, numbers you're throwing around for uh... no but you know what I mean yeah. whatever it is I would make sure it's like 10 it's, I make sure it's like up to 50 quid cheaper than the PlayStation 5 I hope both consoles next generation are 500 pounds listen, really? listen because they come bundled with a VR headset actually yes if if I think that's, the, I think that's the way VR is gonna have to take off they're gonna have to force it I think Sony might actually do that because like you say PS4 Pro is basically the same specs as what the PS5 will be yes obviously the PS5 will be updated a bit more oh if no, they, no 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 if, if the PS5 is coming out in 2020 no one near the same specs yeah but you know, same like, it, but same architecture. That yeah, runs. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They, they, if, they can bundle, if they can bundle PSVR Gen Two in every console, and basically, I think that would be amazing. I would happily pay five hundred quid for a console. I'll be honest. I think the PSVR, if they just improve their hand tracking, um, they would... need they need basically motion controllers. Yeah, for the if, PS4. if there's new controllers for it, right? They need five controllers, and then they give the the screen up to a um, you know standard two K. You know the norm for VR headsets. Yeah, I think it'd be better than Vive Generation One. Not obviously for room scale, but I mean in terms of mass appeal. Yeah, no, I'm up for that. I, I, I'd buy that. I think to be fair, I'm just I'm I'll be interested to see how Microsoft will handle the Scorpion. I want to see what they do at E3. I've got basically at this point no reason to buy a PS. Scorpio. Um, a PS Scorpio. A, yeah, PS Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> But I've got no reason uh, that's a re there's a reason to buy a PS Scorpio. I've got no reason at the same time I should add to buy a PS4 Pro because I it's not really any software there. But right now, at least if I bought a PS4 Pro and sold my PS3 slip PS4, mm. I would at least know I'd have software that can back it up. Does that make sense? Actually, yeah. Like I'm actually tempted uh, pretty soon down the line to sell my uh, base PS4 for like 250. And add a hundred and just get a pro, just because you know games are gonna run better on it. I'm probably gonna start doing that when it comes down to like, depending. I'm probably gonna wait to E3 if they come out on E3 and they show all these games on PS4 or Pro. Yeah, because every I'll... every game's gonna be shown on the Pro. Yeah, I I, I think every game for Microsoft is gonna be shown on the Scorpio as well. I'm very tempted. I can easily once the Switch has come out, because um, that's what I'm saving up for right yeah, now. Yeah, and then I can change very easily the save for that. Yeah. Myself. Especially because it's like you can just sell your old one to. I I'm very I can get a, I can pay 120 quid and get a school um, a pro. Yeah. Um, I'll be ve I'm very up for that. Like yeah. I can force it. Especially because we both have 4K TVs. Yeah, actually that's a good point. Now we've invested in like. Yeah, I mean that's my friend my who got an HP TV. And he's still bought pro because he's planning on getting a 4K. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, and, and apparently it still looks good. Even in 1080p. 4K is really coming down as well, guys. Sorry to completely tangent, but you should be used to this by now. Um, 4K is really getting getting down there in price, especially Actually, if you buy off brand. Like P 4K is very good. Like, I mean, at, at this point, it's almost cheaper to buy a 4K version of a TV than a 1080p version. Be to be fair, it's not even that. It's the same. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, why? Why not? I spent an extra 20 quid, like, literally, I'm not even shitting you when I say it, it was £30 difference between the 4K yeah. version. No, and mine the was more expensive. My, my 1080p version of my TV was more expensive. Anyway, the final thing I want to move on to, because before we go, because my laptop is about to die, because I call it the Switch Syndrome, where my tablet is really powerful with an i5 processor 8 gigabytes I don't, I don't have a slide for this so i've just put it back to the title and it's gonna go like the battery is like a bit shit um that's why it was buzzing want, by the way i want to go over um our switch launch oh yeah that's that we'll, we'll do we, that i'm gonna say weekend plans so i think we have got um a plan so oh um jamie can cut in we're basically a week before well it's going to officially start Kind of next week. Next week. We're next gonna... Saturday, we're going to have a live podcast dedicated to basically just about what we've experienced, what we like, what we don't like, our worries, our likes, what we force of the games. And what we'll do footage. while we do that is we're actually going to put up the videos that we've recorded on the event during the live if stream. If we're allowed to. 
if we're allowed to. Well, we're, I'm pretty sure we're allowed to take uh, videos from certain angles or at least. Um, I think they. I think it depends. Like, you can't take menus of like the home screen or the UI. Well, no. Uh, from what I've heard, you're supposed to, you can only take videos if you're standing at an angle, and then you've got to show I'm them the sure video afterwards. No, I'm sure they'll explain it. Yeah, they'll, they'll explain it. Um, but yeah, we'll try and get some videos, and we'll actually talk over uh, those videos and like explain our thought process at the time. If you have any questions, by the way, do let us know. Just let us, let, like... us, let us know in the. Uh... In the comments, I'm sure there'll be some sort of write up on the um. We'll also add, we're using a switch launch to relaunch. I'm currently properly redesigning the website from the ground up. Um, so we're using a switch launch to relaunch that as well. Yeah. Uh, as for after our uh, uh, switch playing, should we uh, talk for March 2nd? Well, one more thing between March, before March 2nd, there is the Super Bowl coming up. Was obviously right. in, sorry tomorrow, which is going to show that so I think if we're going to hear about any Nintendo Direct, it's going to be within the next four days. Yeah, I think actually we might we might just see like a thing tomorrow that says Nintendo Switch available from two seven nine ninety nine. Check out more at Nintendo.co.uk or see the Switch on Tuesday. I can see them like doing a Switch just and a, a pre-recorded thing this Tuesday if they're like. Everyone's attention will be on my. Like, yeah, no, I mean, it would be it'd be very current Nintendo marketing to use the the Super Bowl as a thing to be like. By the way, that, Nintendo's very Nintendo's very marketing is to basically announce it and um, then like do whatever it is. I mean, like, remember they announced the trailer, and then you and me just shut ourselves to talk about it all night, and it was like. Or was it 24 hours between the announcement and the actual trailer going live? Yeah, no. I, it, what they like to do is they like to give information and then let hype boil over, then give more information. They're like, like, oh yeah, we didn't. Uh, okay, um, one one little thing. Uh, the Japanese pricing uh, for the online, uh, the range has been uh, said. It's it's a huge uh, huge range, but it's between two yen and uh, three thousand uh, three thousand yen a year. Which is cheap. It's about, about, yeah, about it, 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 you, a year. It, uh, it, it, come, it comes to about thirty dollars a year in America uh, on the high end, twenty dollars on the low end. So if you're, but knowing our current conversion rates in the UK, it will probably be twenty pound on the low end, thirty pound on the high end a year. But it's you know, so although there has been some negatives said about the online uh, and some positives, it does seem like if it's going to be like one pound fifty, two pound a month, it's kind of like why not? You know, it's. It's the cost of a sandwich. But then I'll be wondering what, what they're actually going to be doing with that, because if they're charging that much, I'll be interested as to... I'll be interested to see, like... Uh, no, I'll be interested to see, like, what they do with it, but... Oh, yeah, no, no I, I definitely but, think... Can we talk about, um... Yeah, for, sorry, for launch day... Well, um, our launch, so yeah. starting from Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, so, what we're going to do, we're going to the midnight launch, and we're going to bring a camera. <laughs> And like, we're going, we're going to be from the midnight launch from like four o'clock, aren't we? Yeah, so we're going to be uh, interviewing, um, well, very formal way of saying it, asking Switch fans in the queue what they are, you know, what they're hoping for the system, what they think about the system. Mm. Uh, obviously, uh, we're going to be, um... no, no, I think, I think that's it for the actual uh, launch queue. Uh, then we're gonna get back, and then we're gonna do an official uh, unboxing. Have What's you bought that? your Have you bought your gloves, Alex? I actually have got gloves. I got some nice white gloves. I need to go buy some nice white gloves, so we can uh, do, a, do do an official Nintendo <laughs> um, unboxing of it. Then we're gonna set it up, and then we are going to play. I believe one two Switch first. Go Zelda. Uh, was it Zelda? Oh yeah, we're doing Zelda first, that way we can cut ourselves off because we're like, we've got to do other games. So I think we're going to do an hour, the first hour of Zelda. Yeah, and that'll probably be... That'll probably be and we're not doing... Off, like, it'll mostly be on the TV due to on-screen recording, but we will be trying the handheld out. We'll be sure. trying the handheld out, but I do think... We're not going to do any story of Zelda. Because uh, no, obviously, yeah. we don't well, we'll do whatever we have to do to get to the point where you can just like run around. From, from uh, what it is, is you know the tr uh, the demo they've shown when you get out and then the old man's there. Yeah. That is how the game works. Apparently, you wake up, you leave, and then open world. Oh. So okay. we're probably just going to do like a shrine or two and uh, really just give you a general thoughts of the game without really you know spoiling anything. Uh, we're doing uh, a run or two of uh, Binding of Isaac to see how that runs on the Switch. I don't know which one of us is going to be playing that. 
I think it might yeah. be more interesting to have me as a uh, backseat gamer. We both see like. Oh yeah, no. Think of it as well, a new person. Actually, no. I think I know what we'll do. Uh, there's such there's daily challenges for it. Yeah. So I think uh, we'll both do the daily challenge. Yeah. I wonder then. Sorry. Uh, then we have. How are you getting your Switch again? Because I'm pre-ordered it from Game. God I've uh, I cancelled my game pre-order because they were faffing around with the credit thing. I've actually ordered mine directly from Nintendo. Wait, what? Including Zelda? So you're getting a free t-shirt? No, no, no. <laughs> when you get to, where are you getting Zelda from? Amazon. I'm, a, I'm getting so I'm getting Switch get... stuff from so many different areas. I'm getting my case from Game. The what, uh, midnight, midnight launch? No, no, I've just been shipped. A third dude. Uh, I'm tempted to ca uh, I'm actually cancelling um, Zelda and the case and just picking up Zelda and the case of the midnight launch. I think you should because anyone who buys anything from the midnight launch gets thrown into the raffle. Mm. So you know what I mean. You might as well. And so I you might better hurry up to run it now. Or just get, if you pre-order it on Nintendo's website, you get it on March third, but you also get a free T-shirt. Mm. Yeah, I might swap to uh, swap to uh, that one. Uh, it really depends. I'm just, I'm just trade. I'm about to trade in my 3DS XL and the games to, see, to probably get a, an extra boost towards it. Although that money is going towards um, Arms, Splatoon, and uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, Just so yeah. I've got myself set, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll play. So after Bunny Eliza, I think we're ending it with one two switch. We'll probably go back to one two switch in a bit. It's kind of we'll have like three hours until about half three. It'll just be playing all three game, yes. and then we'll probably just go and play a bit. Might we might do a bit of Zelda story then, or we might do a bit of one two switch because actually I think one two switch might actually take quite a long. Arrive of us getting snipper clips. Is that a launch title? Yes. Then yes, I am. I think it's 10, 15 quid. Yeah. Or we might hopefully, please Nintendo, please Nintendo, please say allow us to do a Super Smash Brothers, no, not Super Smash Brothers, um, Super Mario Sunshine walkthrough. Praise be to the <laughs> If that's the case, if that's, that's the, the case, case, the whole stream do? will literally just be like, all right, all right, Zelda, all right, we played some Zelda, we played some 1 2 Switch, it's 3 a.m., we're supposed to be leaving now, Encore special, we're going to marathon all of Mario Sunshine right now. No, um, I say that. Um, I think we'll get. I think if then it's still rumored that it's meant to be coming out. If we do get Sunshine as a launch title, I'll be picking that up instead of Snipper Clips. Mm, that's fair enough. Well, it depends on how much it, it costs. Like. Yeah, if it's like fifty, if it's under fifteen quid, which I think it will be. I think um, it will be fifteen. Yeah, I think oh, it'll be like fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I think I would say twenty is an acceptable price because I of, would. If no, I'd say fifteen. If it's literally just a port. If it's a port and it's had like some HD skin texture. If it's been upscaled, like the yeah. uh, not uh, not just the t like the textures, checkerboard, 1080p. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. No, that'd be I interesting. Um, yeah, I'm hoping so. Uh, but yeah, so they, those are the games we'll play. So uh, then, Binding um, of Isaac. I might then on Friday. We we'll go. We'll probably go off for like an hour or so because we've got to. Um, we're gonna go have breakfast. Yeah. Um, but then is our plan to trade one two switch in? It depends on how fun it is. Yeah, because uh, because it all I, depends. I, I have if, such a mixed relationship with this game, and I want, and I don't think. Is, yeah. No, the thing is though, if sunshine if sunshine comes out and I have to get sunshine, I might be tempted to trade one two switch in for snipper clips. Interesting. I don't think Snipper Clips is a physical release. Snipper Clips is digital only. Yeah, but then I can just trade it for cash. That's understandable. Um, but obviously, Barman is probably the more. Now, if we. You know, you know, like, obviously, you're a dick and you've cancelled your game pre order, and we're, I'm the only one of us getting a game yeah. Switch. Yeah. If I win the free Switch, what's our plan? Are we, should we give it to one of our valuable read listeners? A valuable should we, one, uh, Or should we give it to Phil? <laughs> Isn't the same thing? <laughs> yeah. I even listen to it anymore. Um, I think no. I'm I'm wondering because like I'm just tempted. I promise I'd never do this, but I'm tempted to just be one of those assholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 was, I, was say, I was gonna say we're not scalping it. If we were to sell it, we'd un we'd probably undersell the competition by like a hundred. Yeah, because we're still making eight hundred pound profit. <laughs> But when you think about that, that's Switch games for the next that's true. two years. Yeah, anyone that buys it off us, just consider it as uh, donating to our uh, donating to the uh, to the to the news site. 
by giving us free lunch. By giving us free lunch. Uh. Literally, if, if we sell it for 800 quid, there's an all you can eat sushi place in London. It's 60 pounds per person. And it's all handmade. And I'll be like, yeah, we're we'll going there for dude, lunch. There's an all you can eat sushi place in Birmingham, which is 25 pounds. <laughs> you know. Can you send me that information on Facebook? <laughs> yeah. I just, I generally also want to be the dick. Like I'm, I had a nightmare. The other day. Oh, sh before we go, I know this is off on a tangent. I had a nightmare that. So we we all got we had a nice night. We got the switch. We got we at, we're at your house, and I was standing in, I was standing up in your kitchen. Um, I was just like you were hooking the unit up to your TV, and I was just like going through the menus for the switch. And I accidentally pressed the release buttons on the screen, <laughs> and the device just went and smashed on the floor. Yeah. And I was like. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna happen to someone, isn't it? I think we can't record the uh, the screen itself. We have to record it from the dock. Yeah, um, someone did a, a breakdown of that. Apparently, someone's trying to develop a 3DS type thing. To yeah. Do things, but yeah. Um, so what might happen is we'll have I, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a camera. Yeah. But we might sometimes have to like one of the, if. I'm playing Zelda and on like the handheld. Jamie might have to hold it, or when he's playing Zelda on the handheld, I might have to hold it. That I can't. Well, for the camera because it has to be something that's hooked into the computer, which obviously not many cameras can do. Um, I might use the Vive as a head cam. Ooh, that would be quite good. Like, can you do that? The Vive's camera does work as a camera. We've done it before when we try uh, when we've turned on webcam and it. it's picked up that instead. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, because I know you eyes didn't and, uh, and, and obviously the Vive camera is, you know, six feet long, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we'll probably wear the Vive on my head and use that to get a nice, like, at least a nice little look. It's it won't it. be the highest quality. I mean, the look, I'm going to have to go in a minute, because I've got... We should go anyway, because it, it's, it's gone over our hour, so... But no, there's one final thing I want to say about the Switch. I'm looking forward to it, but I don't know why, but my hype seems to be... Leveling out. I think it's because it's it's close, you know. It's you, yeah. It's like far, It's a month. It's less than a month. It's away. acceptance, you know. It's like why get hype? I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it. Like for me, I'm going to. Be, I know it sounds really stupid, but and I know some of our followers will understand it. But we're going to be queuing. What what time was it? From four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. I think from four o'clock. That's when I'll finally be happy. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's it, well, I'm gonna be happy when I get, I have mine in my hands. No, you know, I'll, I'll be happy when I'm holding yours. What time does your post arrive? Nine. <laughs> Are you just gonna like be constantly like up, uh, pressing F5? Well, I'll button? probably fall asleep, wouldn't I? After. Are you going back? Oh, well, I'll ask you. I'll, 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 I'll ask the more personal details about about the about the yes. live stream offer. Yes, I am going back to my flat at number two, number. Postcode in Birmingham. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant. I was gonna say. Do you like my credit card details as well, Jamie? Uh, no, the social security number would do. Yeah. Anyway. S U C K. As bad as we are at ending podcasts, I suppose we have to end this one. The next, uh, the next one, we, the next one we will do will either be a live reaction to the um, yeah, Nintendo gonna, Direct if there try, is one. Actually, we're gonna probably try next week. Hopefully. Um, a live video webcam with our faces on it. I want. We want to try that out sometime. But what for? Which the um for? Oh, post no, switch. Post switch. Yeah. No. I mean, like, um, if not, we're gonna have a lot of video. I'm gonna record a lot of our reactions after. If we can't record the stuff on the screen, yeah. Then we're gonna just you know record ourselves directly after we played the game. So we, you know, it's fresh in our minds. Yeah. Cool. And yeah. So I hope you guys will stick with um, UK by Gaming through uh, tw uh, 2017. Uh, we're, um, you know, we're pre pre pretty, uh, pretty happy about what we've done with the, uh... Hang up now so I can plug my laptop in, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, if, if Ubisoft or, uh, or uh, Atlas, if you're, uh, if you're listening and you heard about what we said about Sega giving us a free game, maybe you should follow the Sega's illustrious example. And uh, let us review your games, because uh, I want Persona 5. Anyway, if you delay it again, I'll kill you. Uh, Bye guys, that's a weird way to end it, but uh, we've never really ended it properly anyway. Um